All right, here we go. 10 seconds to round start. Um, we're gonna get engineer and I'm gonna do a walkthrough on uh, how to do the uh, super matter engine. I'm gonna tell everyone else we are doing the super matter engine. Any second. All right. Doing SM. All right, so we're gonna grab insulated gloves off here, put them on. A pipe dispenser. We're gonna grab a scanner uh, to protect our eyeballs and put that on. Perfect. All right, so with our pipe dispenser, we're gonna set it to, uh, it's got destroy on, perfect, so we are going to that didn't work. Uh, we will just use our wrench and take away these two pieces and put that back in here. Uh, so with this we are going to do cyan pipes connecting uh, these N2 canisters to the main line. Uh, then we are going to uh, turn this off disconnect it, uh, hold on, uh, doing a tutorial, yep, hopefully most people are pretty okay with it, uh, you got it. <laughs> All right, cool. So we're gonna disconnect these just to make it look nice. Uh, we don't have to do this, I just like doing this. Uh, somehow a robot managed to die here. Um, so we're gonna set this to do a green corner here. And we're gonna set this to do a cyan corner here. So we're basically just making this a piping loop uh, we've done this the wrong way. Uh, we want it this way. So we disconnect this one. Switch back over. Connect it this way. There we go. Throw this old pipe out of the way. So this comes out of, straight out of these N2 canisters. Goes in here. We want to do the same thing in here. Disconnect these two pumps. Throw them out of our way. And we're going to do a straight pump in of cyan on the top and green on the bottom. The colors, by the way, don't actually matter. I just like making them color match. Uh, we'll put this back in here. Uh, we will disconnect this pipe as we don't care to connect any of this. We're going to take this guy out of the way. Don't want any of this, we just want straight pipe. So for our pipe down, we do a straight pipe of green. Perfect. Um, this guy doesn't really matter. Uh, so in case you're wondering, these Atmos pipes on the floor, if they are off, they act as a deadhead. So no gas is going this way anyway. And that's what we want, so we don't really care. For these guys, it's more efficient to just have a straight pipe, so that's why we are disconnecting places where the gas will actually be going. So if you are wondering, these um, pipes go to the outside of the ship. So when we have our nitrogen and it feeds through this loop, we want it to go outside into space, and it will loop around in all those pipes that you can see outside. And while it is out there, uh, it cools down very, very, very quickly. And then we want it to come back in. And hold on, why can't I find the right, is this brown? Yeah, well, close enough, whatever. So, like I said, color doesn't actually matter. Okay, so when it comes up here, the nitrogen has now come out of those tanks, followed this green pipe down, it will go out here and over here. Um, once it comes up here, we want to make sure we're filtering the nitrogen 
and this is on, so the nitrogen gets filtered out the side. The rest of these don't really matter, but you can you might as well set them nitrogen and filter as well. But the first one, they're perfectly efficient, so all of it will get filtered this way. All right, when it comes up here, we don't care. All of the extra gas will be going out here and out into space. When it comes this way, uh, we want to do the same thing where we're disconnecting these pumps that are in our way, getting them out of the way, and piping a straight line through here. And with that, we have set up the nitrogen loop. So this is how it's going to loop around. The next thing we want to do is go over to this room, um, and we're going to want these plasma tanks that are in this holder. So we're going to use the wrench to unbolt it from the floor, and pull it with us over here, just so it's a little bit quicker. And that's, I'm grabbing oxygen, that's not what we want. We want plasma, one, two, three. So with these plasma tanks, uh, we're gonna drop this. We use them on this radiation collector array. So you can see they're slotted in there, that's that little orange piece. Uh, you have to be pretty narrow in where you're clicking, right along this little section here. Then you click them to turn them on. That's this little shield that should pop out. For an extra layer of security, you can take your station ID, click it on each of these on the same spot, and you will lock the controls. So you can see all three were locked there. Now we're going to take this, drag it around, do the same thing on the other side, right here. Just like we did before, we're going to grab one, two, three. Put them in each of these terminals, turn each of them on, and then lock them with our ID. All right, the last thing we're going to do, we're going to move this uh, out of here. We're almost finished setting this up. We are going to turn on the air scrubber. So vent controls, we turn internal, not external on and zero. So we want all of them like this, internal, not external, on, zero, internal, external, on, zero. Perfect. That is our vent controls set up. Then we want to turn on our scrubber controls. Ignore all of this. We're just turning it on siphoning and expanded for all three. And the rest should already be good. Filtering is on by default and we don't care about anything else. So that is all of this setup. We know that these are siphoning because they are red. The rest of this is good to do. Um, the last thing we'll do is turn the emitters on. But to turn these on, they will start emitting radiation. So you can see there's two down here. I'll just show you this. So this emitter is here, shoots up, and these shoot right to the side, which hits the supermatter crystal. This one bounces along these arrays, hits this, and hits the crystal. The top one will do the same. We need to put on a radiation suit before we turn it on. So we will take off our hard hat, get rid of it, take our radiation suit out of this locker, take our radiation hood out of this locker, and put it on. And the last step to turn on the engine uh, is going to be turning these power storage units on. So we'll take each of these, crank it up to max, and max down to 180. And we do that for all three. Max, max down to 180. And this one, max, max down to 180. We'll let engineering know just about to turn on the emitters, because they're asking what's going on. That's this question up here, Jebediah is saying, you ready to switch it on? So, I turn on these emitters by clicking on them. I run up here, I wait for them to fire through once, because I don't want to get shot by the emitters. Any, any second now? Because you know as soon as I run past, I'm going to get shot. Okay, well, we'll go. <laughs> uh, turn on this emitter. These should be firing right away. Not 
Not sure why the emitters aren't firing. Uh, nope. Not sure why emitters aren't firing, though. Uh, this should be good to go. Oh, emitters aren't getting enough power. Uh, <laughs> every... Everything else is good to go. Alright, so this is a new step for me. Previously, somebody else has set up the... Take the plasma generator, hook it up to a wire with the emitters. That would be this guy. The last step is also going to be to um, attach our N2 feed just in case it messes up. So we're going to screw this in place. So we now have a gas cooling loop set up. So because we attached that N2, it should be doing a cycle around here, cooling down. This generator uh, needs to be anchored right here with this wrench. That's why it's here. Secured to the floor. Now we adjust output. Oh, we need solid plasma sheets to go in it. Get the plasmas from the secure storage room just outside the, or inside the crate. We uh, helpfully have someone telling us what to do, which is kind of nice, <laughs> as this is a section of the SM that I have not set up before. So the rest of this should be good to go. We put these in here, and we take a bit of our wire, and we wire the... There we go. Uh, <laughs> so Unsure why this didn't work. Um, that should. Yeah, there we go. Should be good now. All right. SM on and stable. Double checking, we're gonna make sure that this is approved by the people on this station, that should be okay. There we go. All right, um, I mean, a bit of a delay there at the end to get stuff set up, but that was from start to finish, little under 15 minutes to get the SM set up. That's not too bad. All right, thanks guys. <laughs>